Hi, I'm going to show you a crime drama called Hell or High Water. Spoilers ahead. Sit back, relax and be entertained. The movie is set in West Texas. Two brothers named Toby and Tanner goes over to a local bank to steal from them. As they got there, they met up with the clerk who tells them that there wasn't any money in the drawer because it was too early and only the bank manager had the combination to the safe where the money was kept. The brothers were disappointed because they had to wait for the bank manager to come to work and open the vault for them. Few minutes later, the bank manager entered the bank. They ambushed him as they made away with a few thousand dollars in cash. Toby the younger brother then reprimanded his elder brother for hitting the bank manager, saying it wasn't necessary. Tanny laughed it off as they went on to rob another bank. They took only loose caches to avoid getting caught by the police. After they finished robbing the bank, one of the locals shoots at them but they escaped. When they got back to their safe house, they buried the car they had used to rob the bank in a pit hole, along with any incriminating evidence that could trace the police to them. The scene switches to a police station. We could see Alberto, a Texas Ranger telling his partner, Marcus about the bank robbery going on in West Texas. He tells Marcus that they were hitting the banks for just a few thousands and the FBI wasn't going to assist because it wasn't much big of a case. It is revealed that Tanner was just released from jail after spending 10 years in prison. Their mother passed away few weeks ago from an illness, she didn't like Tanny the elder brother because of his wayward behavior. So she passed over her ranch which was in debt to Toby. Toby who discovered oil in the ranch decided to hustle for money, so he could pay off the $43,000 reverse mortgage loan on the ranch. He needed to pay the money as soon as possible because the property is now worth millions after they found oil in it. He passed on the ranch to his two sons, so they wouldn't experience poverty just as he did. In the next scene, Marcus, who is about to retire and Alberto his partner, came over to the robbery scene, so they would run some investigation. They asked the bank manager and the teller some questions relating to the robber's identity, but they couldn't provide enough details to identify them, and the bank had no camera footage of the robbers in action. After much investigations, Marcus deduces that the robbers ain't done yet and they would be back to rob a couple of more banks till they reach their targeted amount, as they only took little amount of cash that weren't traceable during each robbery, and they targeted Texas Midlands banks when there were little or no customers to avoid complications. The brothers goes over to a restaurant to have lunch. During their meal, Toby tells Tanner that he hasn't seen his boys in years because of the child support money he owes Debbie his wife. Tanner tells him to go see them tomorrow after they hit another branch, Tanner takes an excuse, he then goes outside to rob the bank across of him alone. Meanwhile Toby got into a conversation with one of the waiters, who he eventually left $200 as a tip. As he got outside of the restaurant, he was surprised to see Tanner, running towards him with loads of money. Tanner screams at him to start the car, as they made their escape again. Toby was angry at him because he didn't stick to the plan of robbing only Midland's branch. But Tanner wasn't too concerned about it, he tells Toby that he just wanted to help him settle the debts and that's all that really matters. As they got home they buried the car again, Tanner then went over to a trailer house to retrieve some weapons. Meanwhile, Marcus and Alberto went over to the recent bank that the brothers had just hit. After asking the clerks some questions, they were happy to find out that the bank actually had video footage unlike the Texas Midlands banks. Marcus then goes across the street to the restaurant, he interrogated the waiter and people around. He found out that the waiter was tipped over $200. Marcus realizing that he was getting closer to identifying the robbers, then orders Alberto to reserve a room in a hotel where they would spend the night because they weren't going to leave town soon. And they were going to wait till the robbers came over again. On the other hand, the brothers went out of town to a casino, Tanner engaged in gambling, while Toby converted their cash into check and then transferred it to the Midlands Bank so it would be untraceable. Toby wanted to hook up with a stranger but he was stopped by his brother, when he found out that the girl was just a gold digger. Marcus on the other hand continued to tease his Indian partner Alberto, which he didn't really enjoy, although the two were very close to each other. The next day the brothers go over to inquire about the reverse mortgage loan and the extra bank taxes that was laid on the property. While Marcus continued to be a vigilante awaiting the robber's return. Alberto didn't like the idea of waiting for the robbers and then suggested that they head back to their base, but Marcus insisted that they would miss out on the robbers and this might be his last mission before he retires. The brothers then went over to get another car for their next mission. After they had purchased a truck, Toby went over to see his family. He meets his already divorced wife. He pays her the money for child support. His son didn't really appreciate his coming. So Toby went over to meet him. He talked to him saying he really cared about them and didn't want any of them to suffer. That's why he left the ranch for them which would at least bring them profits of $50,000 every month. He then concludes by telling his son not to emulate him or his uncle. 
Over the next few hours, Marcus and Alberto were still on watch, while the brothers planned their next robbery. The next day, the brothers head out to go rob another Texas Midland branch, but as they got there they didn't find anyone and the branch was closed. Disappointed, the brothers then decide to go over to the next branch at Coleman, as they got halfway to Coleman, Tanny tells Toby that the Coleman branch wasn't worth it as they would gather very little amount of money, he then suggests that they rob a much bigger bank at post. Toby wasn't okay with the suggestion because the bank at post was too big and it would probably have a lot of security. But Tanner assured him that there wasn't any reason to worry, because bigger banks equals bigger money, so the two reversed back as they went over to post. Meanwhile, after Marcus had studied the map and branch of the banks around the area, he figured out that the next bank the brothers might actually hit would be the one at post, so the two rangers head over to post. Tanner and Toby arrived at the bank in post, they were shocked to see a crowded bank because they weren't used to this kind of robbery. They still managed to pull it off even after engaging in a gunfight with an armed security guard and a customer with a gun. Tanner kills the two as they head out for escape. The locals who heard about the robbery came over at the scene, shooting heavily at them. Toby was hit but luckily it didn't have enough impact to get him killed, amidst the heated gunfight, the brothers managed to get in their truck. They were chased by the locals who then informed the police about the robbery. When Marcus heard the news, he was happy because his instincts were right. The brothers then stopped the vehicle after a long chase. Tanner comes out and then fires at the local with an automatic weapon. The local seeing that they were no match to his gun power then retreated. Tanner then decides to sacrifice for his brother, he tells his brother to take the money and convert it at the casino while he distracts the cops who are on pursuit. After the two bid themselves farewell, Toby takes another car as they all separated. Tanner then draws the police towards him, he raced them to a desert mountain. As he got to a steep hill, he fuels the car and then uses it to blow up some police cars. He uses the explosion as a distraction to get into a position, where he used his sniper rifle to take down a lot of police, in the process he killed Alberto, Marcus's partner, leaving Marcus devastated. When the locals arrived at the scene, Marcus used one of them who knew the area well, to get behind Tanner. While Tanner focused on firing down at the police, Marcus ambushed him and then took him out with a head shot. Meanwhile, as Toby wanted to leave town, he was stopped at a police checkpoint, in a tense situation, Toby covered up his gun wound and then tried in every possible way to act normal, after much interrogation, he was finally allowed to pass. He went over to the casino to convert the money, at the casino, he sees the news report concerning the robbery and his brother's death. Toby then goes over to pay off the reverse mortgage loan before the bank will seize the ranch. After Marcus had retired, he returned back to the station to make inquiries concerning Tanner's brother, Toby. He was told there wasn't any concrete evidence on Toby and there was no trace leading him to the robbery. The police head tells Marcus that Toby earns approximately $50,000 every month and there is no way he will risk his life, robbing banks for just little cash. Marcus who was still convinced that Toby was the second robber, decides to pay him a visit, as he got there he confronts him saying he knew he was the second robber, he then asked Toby why he did it, Toby responds saying that all his life he has been poor, it has been an endless circle of poverty running through his bloodline, but he was determined to ensure that his children doesn't pass through or experience poverty again, he had to go through extra miles to make it happen, as they were discussing, Toby's wife and his kids arrived, Marcus then decides to take his leave, Toby tells him to visit again soon so they can finish the conversation. Marcus then bids him farewell as he leaves. The end. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more contents like this, goodbye and take care.